man, you ain't gonna keep posting on online how you be eating all the time. Okay, Gunner, you ain't. That's one thing you gonna stop doing. Cause see, word, word got back to me and my lord just that you all posting all kind of snacks. Talk about how auntie don't cook collard greens and how the dressing taste. But I'm telling y'all, man, young thug lawyer is going to push another bond here. He like, man, listen. My client is struggling in jail to survive. The man is only eating chocolate chips in jail. He's only eating chocolate and chips. I ain't talking about chocolate chips. No, I'm talking about chocolate and a bag of chips. Man, listen, my client deserves to be eating Kobe steak. You know what I'm saying? With A1 steak sauce, if he please. You know what I'm saying? With, with relishes and stuff like that. My client don't deserve this treatment. I ain't lying. Nah, the rest of them people who in there, they deserve that. But my client, he gets special treatment. Facts on facts. My client health is declining all because of y'all nasty jail food that the other inmates, hey, I don't care about them because hell, they had me representing them. I be fighting them for their ass too. But see, as your attorney, I'm not going on no hunger strike for you. No, I'm telling them how you are doing it. See, even you can't go on the hunger strike because, you know, it take a lot of willpower to go on that hunger strike, baby. Everybody don't eating around him, telling him how, showing him all kind of gram pictures. And then, you know, when you locked up, for the people that have been locked up, and I'm one of them, all they do is show TV with them food commercials and stuff. All this, all they do, I know he getting all kind of steak commercials, all kind of cheese and dips, vegetables, all kind of fruit commercials that he ain't going to eat. That man don't want no goddamn fruits. That man want him a pot of uh, Aunt Beth the collard greens with some cornbread and dressing. Chine. Thugger said, hell, I know Gunner don't eat. Think I ain't hear about everybody out there eating all good and stuff. And all these little TikTok challenges with all these fools. This is the challenge. I need to get up out this goddamn jail cell. I'm tired. I ain't taking it no more, man. I'm ready to go home. Hell, I don't miss my birthday. I miss different holidays. Children's birthdays. I don't miss uh, Thanksgiving. I don't miss Halloween. Hell, I don't miss uh, uh, Chris- Christmas. I don't miss the beginning of the year. I don't miss, man, I don't miss so many holidays and different plates of, of collard greens and macaroni and cheese and barbecue ribs. I could have been thinking about eating. My health is declining. I need me some real food. I don't give a damn about them other inmates now. I am young thug, slime life, okay? You don't know about now, you better ask somebody. <laughs> I can't take it. I, I want out of here, man. Damn, getting a guard to sneak me some food. It ain't nothing like me walking in the kitchen smelling some real food, man. I want to see my food get cooked. Well, you can always go in the back and look at the the workers cook your food. Nah, I don't want that. Well, you got a choice. You in jail. You got the uh, canteen. Man, that ain't no freedom because they put what they want your ass to eat in there. Yeah, my canteen don't flee. Everybody in the jail said, no, I get whatever I want to eat. But this ain't what I want to eat, man. Think I ain't hear about them Negroes posting all they food up talking about how delicious it is. Come on, y'all must not know who I am. I, I Listen, I'm on the inside, but I know more about the outside than y'all Negroes do because that's how it go when you're locked up. You ain't hurt. And is there anything else that I want to say? Uh, I will be out. And when y'all see me with my pot of Aunt Bertha collard greens, don't be hating, okay? And I'm out. <laughs>